What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to your clothing guide, the Hoxton Trent. <laughs> Peeps! Right, real quick one on this one guys. What I'm gonna do is show you how you can spot the difference between a genuine Canada Goose jacket and a fake one-on-one -on -one triple A replica, okay? Because they are very, very, very similar, but there are some differences that you guys can look at to show you how you can spot the difference between the two. There seems to be a glut of new triple A grade fakes running around and they are fooling quite a few people, okay? So I've managed to get some in. I'm gonna show you how you can spot all this stuff so you don't get scammed. Make sure you subscribe, all the good stuff. Let's begin, yeah? Two seconds. So I've got the genuine um, Canada Goose, this one right here, which is called the Canada Goose Maitland Jacket, okay? Now this one came straight from Canada Goose, I've got the box for it, so it's all good. And then what we have on the side here is a fake Canada Goose Mac Millen Jacket, okay? Right, literally guys, this is what the Canada Goose came with, okay? So you get it from a retailer, this is the box that it's gonna come in, okay? It's gonna come in a little cool little box like this. If you've got the black edition Canada Goose, it's gonna come with a black box. And if you don't get the box, what you'll get is a little suit bag, okay? Which is quite long, it's just like a suit bag. What you will not get from Canada Goose is this. This really crap looking cheesy bag that you see right here. If you see a little cheap bag like this, no straight away that the Canada Goose is likely to be a fake. Please take a look. If you see this, run a mile, tell the seller you're not interested, okay? Right, so literally some of the first things I'm gonna show you how to spot the jacket is the patch. Now, if you look on the patch on the right, you can see that the patch got the maple leaves going all the way around. Now, what you will never ever see on the Canada Goose is the maple leaf or any of the writing that you can see inside. You will never see it touch the circle on the outside. That is a big sign, okay? Because all the Canada Goose jackets are perfect. You will never see this stitching touching the side on the outside side it's really really hard to spot because it does look really really close and I've always showed you from back in the day is to look at the zippers the genuine one right here can you say that, see that it's using Vizlon YKK special chunky zippers and if you look at the fake one they simply just try to copy it but obviously they don't have a pair of real Vizlon zips so they just got the mold of the zip and they've just done their own thing as you can see right there all Canada Goose come with the Vizlon YKK or should at least come with YKK zip Another thing that I noticed on this one is that the Canada Goose, the genuine studs come with a little bit of engraving and if you look at the fake one, there is nothing there at all guys, so that's another thing to know, always check those things out. I never see the hologram straight away when you open up the item like that, usually you have to open up a label first and then you will see that you've got the hologram there, okay, but if you look on the fake one, straight away you've got the hologram there, so you know that it's, it, that's not the order, it's usually a little label like this first and then you've got the hologram underneath well now have a look at this look at the colors of these two big difference in color here guys you can basically just see like right there this is more of a darker blue while this is kind of a lighter kind of greenish type blue there so we know that's a problem it shouldn't be that color okay if you look really really carefully even though it's a triple a fake you can see there's some really lazy stitching going on here it's canada goose would um, never do stitching like this they're usually very very on point so you can see there's some um faults in the stitching there i've also seen an area here where they haven't even been bothered to put the down in the jacket properly it's starting to seep out there a little bit another thing that i've always kind of noticed with the fake is if you look at the mouth guard um which goes just behind the uh, front the top part of the where you zip up the jacket one thing that I've noticed with the fakes is they never seem to get this right is that the fabric on these two it looks a lot more rough as you can see it's not smooth the original one is quite smooth whereas the um, Canada Goose the fake it's really kind of bumpy and a bit frizzy you can see there is a difference in the pull cords this is the fake one right here there's a bit of a notable difference on there you can see like the shapes a little bit different but they, they have actually got this um, kind of really close so if you haven't got a comparison it's going to be quite tough 
to spot. I would doubt very much that this jacket would perform well in the winter. I think it would give you a lot of problems. Um, the down that's inside the jacket, it's not been certified, so we don't even know if the down in here is safe. It could be from animals that have not gone through um, quality control, so there could be mold and stuff growing inside the feathers. You would never know because it's inside the jacket. And literally, if you think it's okay, you could be wearing this jacket and you could, you know, you could, you could easily make yourself ill because of the bacteria in the jacket and you'd never know about it. Now, the biggest thing I would say that you can do when buying a um, jacket, especially if you're going onto uh, platforms like eBay, if you see some um, pictures of the jacket and take a screenshot of those pictures, nice clear ones, run over to canadagoose.com, look for their email and you can actually send them an email and they can legit check those items for you, okay? Now that's really good, that's a really good touch because what that means is they can tell you exactly if their own items are fake or genuine. You can always ensure that you do not buy fake from third party platforms, okay? So guys, that's it, I hope that video was helpful. I hope, it, I hope it was informative. I've got lots more like this coming, lots more fake versus reals. Stay tuned for it. Peace out.